welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and a reviewing snap. This was the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day yesterday, Wednesday, March, what was yesterday? March 8th. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday to, to be on Fox News. I was, yesterday was a long day. Anyways, this is getting to what would have been like the dream target yesterday. Got out of it with a good exit yesterday, but the bottom line is it couldn't break $11 yesterday. But let's take a look at what we did. Again, this is going further today. So, oops. There we go. So this was a nice little trade here. Again, I like to do the fast trades in the morning. I gave this a little bit of an extra time thinking it would have one more push, but then it didn't do it. Still like to trade the morning. Whether you got in and out in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it was a good trade. So stock closed here the night before at 11.71. For those of you that know what I do, I prefer to short. Always go to the short side first when I'm looking for things to trade. Then if I don't find a good short, then I go look at the long side. But we've had some nice shorts lately. So this gap down here then yesterday morning and opened at 11.27. Was that was a nice gap. You know, this stock, you have to understand how it works. It doesn't have two, three, four, five dollar moves. But again, we had a tight stop with this. So really tight stop. Something like this, you can get a 20, 25 cent, 30 cent stop. So, you know, you take a nice stop, you get a move, you get in, you get out, get in, get out. That's exactly what we did here. And again, today, this is this finally broke 11. In fact, what time did this break 11 today? Looks like it was late, around 11 o'clock when the market started to turn and flip. And this could even continue possibly, possibly for a third day tomorrow down to 1050. I did not call any options in this. It was a rinky dinker, but for a day trade, it's perfectly fine to do. And again, you know, if you wanna do a trade that I call in the live room as an option, that's up to you. You can do that. You can pretty much do a fast trade as an option if that's what you wanna do. But this was a live day trade in the room that I called, that worked. It was nice to have a solid, fast, quick move. Again, nice follow through of this with this today here with the market, and it could go another day. So if you'd like to learn how I make these picks, how did I know to short snap yesterday? How did I know it wasn't a long? How did I know this would continue? It's because of the rating system, the rating system that I teach in my class once a month, which is called the Golden Gap. That's how I make the calls in the room. The room is only open to people to join who have taken my Golden Gap course because the trade set up fast. Yesterday was a good example. You need to know what to do. I want people to be successful. You're not gonna be successful if you don't know what you're doing. You have a higher chance of success and be able to make more money if you understand the whole concepts, the philosophies of everything that I do. So nice trade here in Snap. And if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course in March, the class is March 25th and 26th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.